That was emphatic. How satisfying is it to end the fight like that? I'm going the distance, you know. For me, it was hard because I was trying to box discipline. I was trying to take my time. I hurt him in the first round, and I thought, you know what? Go after him, go after him. And I was like, hey, man, relax, relax. you got 12 rounds to do this. You know, I know the main thing is being controlled, taking my time, and boxing my way. And I knew it would come. I knew it would come. You know, I knew. I knew they trained for my left foot. They kept on mentioning it. So I, I worked in the right hand. I hit him with the right hand a few times. I rotted him. And I thought, you know what? I noticed he kept on making the same mistake. He kept on bobbing and weaving my one-two left foot. So I threw a lazy right hand and just dipped a bit. Boom. Cleanest, cleanest shot of your career? No, 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 no. Listen, that's my money shot. That shot's going to put a lot of people away. Trust me. They can train for it as much as they want. It's 12 run. I will land it at some point. And my right hand's come on. Still getting there. You know, um, I was a bit scared at times, but it's hard because I, I, I'm a warrior. I want to scrap, and I'm just like, don't scrap, don't scrap, don't scrap, don't scrap. I can see Mark going, all right, Shan, keep it together. You know? <laughs> he bought the fire and he bought the fury, but do you think perhaps the, the little bit more of the quality was with you? Say again? He bought the fire and the fury, but do you think that the bit of the quality was with you? Listen, you can bring whatever you want, man. I've, I've been in deep waters and I, and I can swim. You know, it may, it may mean nothing to me, you know. Um, I just, as long as I stay calm and cool, as you can see, I was in great shape. I wasn't tired once, but I was pacing myself, and I knew it was going to come, man. They can bring whatever they want, you know. I never had a long amateur career. I had seven amateur fights. I think this is my 26th professional fight. No experience compared to all these guys, but I'm learning. Every camp I'm learning, I'm improving, I'm getting better and better. So, you know, like I say, I'm the can man, whoever won it can get it. Number one, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Anywhere you are! The, la the last one on the fight itself, and then we can talk about the future. No one says that you're going to be friends for life, but would you concede that you bring the best out of each other? Yeah, I want that lunky over there next. Uh, apologies for the language. Who are you pointing at? Trying to get me when I was at ringside last time. Let's do this. It's Anthony Joshua you're pointing at. Is that right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All this. Do, do you want to have a quick come, right to Do you want to give him a right to reply there, or come, come. maybe you should stay up there? But I'll give you a right to reply. First of all, let's have a round of applause for Chisora, please. Please. For Dylan White, please. Can we get one more for Eddie Hearn? Oh. But look, you know what I said down there to Adam and Carl? I said, look, Dylan, let's forget about what happened in the past in that fight. British level, we're both at world level now, and we can see what we're about. Do you know what I mean? Forget all that he said, she said. Good fight back then, now we have to see where we're at right now. But first of all, we know how the list goes. Number one, number two, and if they're not available, let's see if we can get on. And if anyone deserves a wide title shot, I think it's Dylan. You. We need to know what we're doing. I've got my own career. I'm not waiting for you to chase Adam, man. Even with fighting, we're not fighting, bro. I know where you're coming from, but as I said, you know if, there's, if there's anyone who deserves a shot, if it ain't them, it's you. So if it ain't, if it wasn't Deontay Wilder, let me ask you a question. If it wasn't Deontay Wilder, it's a fan-friendly sport, would they be interested in Dylan White? So if Dylan White fight gets made, I don't want to hear any boos and it's not the fight we want to see. Do you know where I'm coming from? Deontay Wilder's a target, but if it's not him, it's Dylan White. Let's go to Eddie Hearn because we have lost Dylan White for the foreseeable future, I would say. Um, April 13th, can those two fight each other? It's At Wembley Stadium? It's, it's a matter of when, not if. Because I think Dylan White's going to become the WBO mandatory early next year, and that'll be due in September. So I think it's a matter of when he fights Anthony Joshua, not if. It's very clear the target is Deontay Wilder, but Dylan White has earned his shot at a world title, and he'll be the WBO mandatory, I believe, very soon. Your thoughts on what was another very good contest? I didn't think it could get any better, you know. We owe a debt of gratitude to these guys. No one can imagine what they go through in the ring. And Chisora and White done themselves proud tonight. Absolute gems for British boxing. And again, it goes down as another classic. Anthony Joshua and Dylan White obviously don't like each other. Yeah. If you were going to give us a percentage chance of that fight happening next, what would you say? If Deontay Wilder don't want to fight Anthony Joshua, then I think it has to be Dillian White. Quite simple. But again, he's going to be mandatory. So it's a case of when, not if. If it's April, it'll be later in the year. He'll get his shot. He's number one with the WBC. He'll be WBO mandatory. And I know AJ wants to fight him. Thanks very much.